Hello, my name is Zach Schwartz, and in this video we are going to cover generating a PDF in MuleSoft uh, with the help of a REST API called api to pdfcom And for the purely demonstration purposes, we're going to start with a blank Mule palette, and I'm going to drag over a uh, listener. And we're going to configure this listener just so that we can um, pretend that we're hitting an API so that we can actually have some trigger uh, cause a PDF to be generated. So we're going to um, add a configuration on this listener. I like to type in localhost here and I'll leave it as 8081. It's typically sufficient. Test connection. We're good. Click OK. And then I'm just going to write API star. So just to mimic a fake API, that is all we need to do for this demo. So once we hit our fake API with whatever calls we're going to make, we're then going to make a request to API to PDF.com. So I'm going to drag over request and let's head over to API to PDF.com. Take a look at this REST API service. So they have uh, four endpoints available and uh, HTML to PDF, URL to PDF, Office Docs as well. You can merge PDFs together. If we look at the documentation, we can see that we need to grab an API key from portal.api to pdf.com. And in order to use it in post requests, we need to put authorization header API key. Scrolling down, this is uh, some of the documentation. We're going to pick one of these endpoints to test with, but you can use any of them really if you need to convert Word documents to PDF, merge them together, but keep it simple. And we're going to just generate a PDF from raw HTML. This is the payload that it takes. Looks like HTML is required. These are optional parameters and there's the full list of WK HTML and PDF options. There's quite a bit of options that you can use with WK HTML and PDF. And this is the response that we get back. So we can expect a link to the PDF, a URL to PDF that is only available for 24 hours. The PDF is only available for 24 hours at that URL. The megabytes in, megabytes out, the total cost and success. If it's failed, then it will say success false along with a reason. So this is what we're gonna work with. And let's go to portal.api.pdf.com. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. And I'm going to burn this API key after this video is done recording, so it won't work. But um, you can create your own API key and use it for your PDF generation purposes. So now we have an API key. We have an endpoint that we're going to use. So let's hook it up. And we're going to use that post endpoint. API to PDF.com, WKHTML to PDF, HTML. Let's drag that up a bit. We're going to leave the payload as is. We're going to call the payload from uh, a REST client like Postman or ARC. Uh, but we do want to keep the headers in here. So let's add the header, the authorization header that we need. and then the API key that we just generated moments ago. Oops. Where'd it go? Sometimes MuleSoft is cranky like that. We got it back. Let's paste in the API key. You gotta make sure you have the quotes around it, otherwise it doesn't work so well. 
let's just double check this all looks good. Okay, so we got the post. This is the endpoint that we're using. And we're going to keep the payload as is. That is the authorization header. That should be good. Now, to really uh, double check that we're doing everything properly, I'm going to put another request that happens after we generate the PDF. Now, you could store, you could download the PDF to and then store it into a database or upload it to some, some server, FTP, whatever you need. Uh, just for this purposes, we're going to use request bin website just to test out so I'm at request bin and created a new request. This is just so that we can see that we are properly generating calls. Okay, this is also a post. I'm just going to put that in there. And that's all we need to use request bin just to see if we're doing this all right. Okay, so we are ready to test out our PDF generation. So I'm going to create a call in REST client ARC. Drag this over. So this is where my endpoint is. In the meantime, actually, I'm going to run this. It does take a second to run. Let's save it. All right. So while that's compiling and, and, and launching, I'm going to talk about this for a second. Um, we got the request URL. This is where, where we're listening. I put API slash star, so I'm just going to say do something. So whatever your API on MuleSoft does, um, you can trigger it. And then under body, it's raw input, raw JSON input, and I got HTML, raw HTML. And I uh, this is the only required parameter uh, for that endpoint. There were those other parameters. We're going to ignore those, uh, but you can put them in if you need them. So, hello world. Let's just change it to hello world from MuleSoft. All right, let's fire it off. And we did get an error. After some investigation, I had another MuleSoft server running, so I just switched the port to 8082 just to get it fresh and let's try that again <laughs> I moved this to 882 you may not have to I already had one running again so I'm gonna fire this off and it did generate so we got a 200 okay and if you recall we have that other request going to request bin so we should be able to see if it made it there so I'm going to refresh our request bin, drag it over. Sure enough, this is the result. So I'm going to copy and paste this URL into the browser. Hello world from MuleSoft. That's it. So we successfully generated a PDF with MuleSoft and API to pdf.com. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much.